Hello everybody and welcome back once again to The Last Day on Earth Survival. As you can see by what's in front of you, I've been raided again. Those pesky people keep coming in and stealing my loot. Let me turn the game sound on quickly. Uh, that one and that one. There we go. Oh, and now I am completely deaf. Well, you know what, I'm actually possibly going to turn it up a little bit on your side, because in the last video I did, you couldn't actually really even hear the game sound at all. So, as you saw, they took one of my lovely grenade launchers and a shotgun. So we are going to be going in to try and get it back. However, I don't know if I have really enough hatches anywhere. Let me do a quick hunt. Actually, I think... I think hatchet should be in this one. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That's much better. So let's do it like that and get all of our stone ones on the top. And we'll grab one more of them. Perfect. That should be good for the raid. And I could do with a new chess piece too. Let's just get a... Oh, that's all my SWAT stuff. And let's go for a low durability military, uh, tactical one. That should be good. Right then, plan for the video, I don't really have one. I'm thinking go on a raid and then open up a few boxes at Blackport PD. 103 DPS, that is very nice. Any you silenced as well? You are, perfect. And my phone just went off. Let's see what this is about before actually trying to record fully. We shall be raiding a falcon. I don't actually know what a falcon looks like. I know what eagles look like, but I'm actually going to Google this now. I genuinely... Falcon. Okay, so basically it looks... It's just a small eagle. It looks like this. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that lovely picture of a falcon. If I remember to edit it in. Hoping I did. Right then. We... Oh, it's going to be a honeycomb base, isn't it? Brilliant. Let me... Yeah... Can we see a stone wall anywhere around here? If so, that'd be nice. I really wish it... Ages ago, we suggested to the devs that they added a little mark next to the hatchet icon that tells you if it's a level 1 or a level 2 wall. They said, great, yep, yeah, we like that idea, and then it just never happened. And I guess after the q and I did the other day, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. They aren't going to be doing anything to raids for quite a while. Which is incredibly disappointing, but oh well. Right then, let's hope it's not complete honeycomb all the way through, hey? Oh, okay. Right then. Let's take another zoom out here. Um, I'm not going to break the level 2 door, because that's a waste of noise. Let's go through the twig one here. Okay. Now it's looking like they've got stone floors there. So I'm going to actually... Yeah, let's go through. Let's see what we can find. I'm hoping we're going to get something good from this base. Hey, and I'm guessing this is going to be where their main loot room is. However, oh, you know what, I'm going to take a look online quickly, because people always have a go at me for messing up raids. Alright then, after looking through the videos, multiple videos, it doesn't actually look like we're going to be finding anything that good in this base. I think this box is the best loot. However, it's not a terrible raid. <clears throat> oh, sorry, pardon me. A bit of coffee stuck in my throat there. So yeah, it's not the worst base I've ever raided. And in one of these boxes, we should be getting... There we go. We've got my grenade launcher back, but we got some tickets too. Tickets are always nice to find, because every ticket you find, that's one less enemy you have to kill in the bunker. However, at the... Uh, we don't want that box, that's just full of stone. However, where I am at in the game, I've got a massive stockpile of tickets anyway. The only thing I'm actually short on is tape. And I'm very slowly building up my stockpile of tape again. So there should be my shotgun hidden somewhere in this base. After watching the video, breaking into the rest of the base, it is a big open courtyard. There's four little boxes and they have got nothing good in them. I literally empty cans and a few garden beds. Let's see what's in there. 
Which, oh well, you can't get good base raids every time, and I'm just happy it's not a starter base that's making me use one of my C4 to get absolutely nothing. What are we getting in this stuff? No, those box. I should have actually probably paid more attention when watching the video, and I would have known those boxes were empty. Oh well. And some beans. Good for your heart. Where are we going? So, what do you all think about the teaser the dev shared recently that shows off the new chopper that we're going to be getting? What I want to know is if it's going to be a chopper pattern or if it's going to be a new blueprint. I am really hoping for a new chopper blueprint because I think that would actually be quite fun to get. But I'm just hoping it's not going to be a skin that you can only buy. Because as much as I'm all for paying for skins, I don't want to pay for skins. Yeah, right. Final box. Let's see what we're going to get. Actually, this is going to bring us up to 99 noise, yeah. Um, yeah. Not the best raid I've had. I might actually just take a ton of beans. Where are we looking? Not going to take any of that. Got massive stockpiles of all of that stuff. Yep, looks like we're going for beans. Lovely food raid. Not going to take the water. So let's go for a little bit of organisation here. There we go, we've got five stacks of beans. We are down to our last hatchet. Got some tape, then let's go red, yellow, green. Uh, we've got our meat, and that can go up there. There we go. So, um, yeah, this could have been a better raid. What are you going to do? I'm not going to take those ones because that won't stack and it won't look nice. Let's see what we get in this last box. Since the big one is already coming for us. Um, I'm going to take the berries because I'm still working on... Working on, working on, work what am I working on? Getting alcohol. I think I'm actually up to about 100 now, which is really good considering before I was completely run out for the amount of times I got the task of clear the... Um, not clear make 20 med kits, but whatever, we got that sorted now. You know what, I've been away so long from doing videos, I completely forgot what we were doing beforehand. I'm still supposed to be doing my fully modded series, aren't I? So I was doing, yeah, fully modded weapon videos. The last one I did was the fully modded machete. I'm not going to continue it this episode because I've already got something lightly planned out. But next video, we will be continuing on with the fully modded weapon series. And I think we'll go for the saw blade mace because I, I did a video on it before. However, devs weren't happy with it and asked me to take it down. So yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a new video on that. And then we'll gradually work our way through because I've got quite a lot of melee weapons. I don't actually think I've made a single mod for the baseball bat or the um, other bat. Can you mod the other bat? I'm not sure. So that's everything we got from opening 75 dealer crates, which is really, really nice. Right then, over to Blackport PD. Just out of interest, has anybody seen the Purge series on Amazon? I've started watching that about half an hour ago and I can't tell if it's going to be good or if it would be awful. Oh yeah, so changing in blue tickets to a purple and opening up a bunch of these lovely blue boxes. Gone here completely sands everything apart from backpack. And our mod is the tactical handguard for the Winchester. Come on devs, at least give us something nice. What are we going to be getting in here? There's drum magazine for the M16, that's pretty good. We're getting the improved silencer. For the Uzi, that's also a good one. The double drum for the scar, that's a very good one. And then the extended magazine. I just want to point out how we got better mods from all of the blue crates than we did in the purple one. I really, really wish the devs would make it so that none of the mods... Oh, sorry, pardon me. I wish they'd make it so that none of the mods for the Winchester and the zip gun were purple. Because even fully modded, those guns are... They are trash, basically. You don't want to use them unless... I don't know, you can use them in the bunker for killing frenzied giants, I guess. 
but you can use other guns much more effectively in the same place for the same purpose. But it is what it is. Right, I'm going to end off the video here. You've seen the lovely loot I got. And I'm going to go out for a walk because I need to keep exercising my foot. For those that don't know, my foot was run over by a car, an Uber driver. I'll give more information if anybody wants to know it in Discord. Also, putting this at the end of the video, we have just hit 23,000 subscribers on YouTube. So to celebrate it, I am hosting a giveaway. The win there will be three winners. There's a link in the description. Well, there's a link in the pinned comment by me to the Gleam link for the giveaway. The winners, there will be three of you, and you will all get five files with rare blueprints. So if we take a quick look at them, five of rare blueprints is this one. You get six random blueprints, as well as two rare blueprints, and one extremely rare. I currently have 14 of these packs. So yeah, make sure to enter that. Link is down below. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye-bye.